Hello, my name is Herschel Agrawal, and today I'll be talking to you about my research, Harmful Algae Bloom Prevention Using Shafari Microfiltration. So why is my research important? Harmful algae blooms are a massive problem nationwide, and as you can see on this map, all the states that are green have a severe problem with harmful algae blooms. Furthermore, a lot of species of algae are known to be toxic not just to aquatic wildlife, but also to humans and pets. On top of that, a lot of species of algae can also cause for hypoxic dead zones in bodies of water. And these hypoxic dead zones can wreak havoc upon delicate aquatic ecosystems. And to make matters even more and worse, in 2015 alone, algae was responsible for causing more than $2 billion in damages to the seafood, fishing, and tourism industries. So what did I know about my research before I began? So my research is a five-year project, and I started this back in eighth grade. So before I began the third year or third phase of my project, I knew that Strafaria mycelium, which is the root structure of the Strafaria mushroom, can effectively reduce nitrate and phosphate from water which are the two main reasons why we have harmful algae blooms. But what I did not know is how accurate this is because prior to phase three, I always did my research using very elementary testing methods. So that was what I knew before I walked into phase three. So what did I learn? I learned that at the end of phase three, Shafari mycelium can effectively filter phosphate from water. So that right there is a limiting factor for algae bloom growth. I also know that Shafari mycelium tends to make the water a bit more acidic. So before I move on to implementing my research in the next two phases of my project, I'm going to try to see why that happens and whether I can prevent it. And the last thing I learned was that polar sawdust, which is a readily available industrial byproduct, has the ability to filter nitrate from water. So there's also a lot of potential there for future work with polar sawdust. Thank you for your time. Please feel free to visit my website if you have any more questions.